Now, what we have here is um, this afternoon at around uh, 3 p.m. In here is a very bright white dot, but it's within this glare here. When I first saw it, it was up here at 1 o'clock. About here. I yeah, thought I saw it yesterday at sunset, but was uh, further away. Then uh, we see the area as it's coming down. This is normal. And then a little later, you can see a, a glare at the shape of this here has come out and um, this is a little later, five minutes, and that seems to be more bulbous. Now, what had happened was it was up here. Um, by the time I drew everyone's attention to it, it was down to three o'clock, which that was about well, five minutes before they could find it. And then they couldn't, one couldn't see it, not I could. And then it was down here at four o'clock by the time I last saw it, and going in that direction. So um, it was either doing this, which I doubt, but it does appear to be going in that direction. And this is a setting sun, so uh, it sets into the sunset naturally. This is later on. Um, and I'll give you some idea what the Okay, it would have been down here and possibly gone, but it's still in the glare, so I still try to capture it with this and uh, I'll just go through and you'll notice as we go back, see the glare width? Go back a bit further. Now, yeah, okay, we'll go back the other way. Now, watch the glare width. It's still doing the same pulsing that it's been doing ever since I first picked it up in Nehemiah. See the width of it now? It's out to here. It's going down, of course. And then uh, we're losing it. So I expect that uh, whatever we saw, it's certainly a very large, bright object. Now, looking at this here, um, just zoom in, give you some idea of perspective. Okay, go back a couple hours. It was up here. This was up here. But in relationship to where I saw it, I first spotted it here just inside the glare and I couldn't see it. So what I did, I took binoculars or a telescope runner, turned it, adjusted it for focus and then turned it over. And that's how, because what happens is this glare seems to be eliminated. You still see the little black spot, but this time in my eye I could see the black spot, um, but other people can only see it as white here. But in any case, it moved down in that direction would have been here at one o'clock now it appeared to be about here somewhere this is the north in that direction so as it got down to three it was about here then it was down to here now taking that as one width go out six widths of the sun you're looking about right somewhere in this vicinity it would have been however the width of it would have been as wide as one quarter of the sun. Now the only other thing that's bigger than that is uh, the moon, which is not overhead at the moment. And uh, it's certainly not glowing, it's almost uh, dark. And uh, this here was very, very, as bright as the sun. So I started there, or down there. Now, if you're in Germany, you should be seeing it very, very shortly at sunrise. 
It's on the way, so it's revolving around the Earth like a moon.